Alright, we're going this way for a video. Who wants to be in the video? Hey everyone, if you are new to my channel, my name is Jess. I make all kinds of lifestyle videos, especially around rats. Rat videos are one of my more popular ones, and I'm sure many of you are tuning in who are not subscribed because you want to know more about what I keep on hand for my girls in case of an emergency or illness. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Not all of my videos are rat videos, however I find that the rat videos tend to gain popularity just because of how often people are searching for these types of videos. So this is not a first aid kit for rats, it's just things that I have on hand over time. You'll see I have Macy and Elise and Daisy over here. The reason I am filming this video today is because Lucy has an upper respiratory infection and by having this stuff on hand, I was able to avoid going to the vet for an emergency visit. I want to start this video by saying that I am going to show medicine and antibiotics. All of these medicines come directly from the vet. If you do enough research, people tell you that you can get medicine online. I do not recommend it. You need a prescription to get medicine. Um, it, it is a pain to find a vet who will treat rats, but once you find a vet who will treat rats, it is so worth it. Um, I care so much about pets and animals. I am more than willing to answer any questions, whether that be on the YouTube channel down below, or you can DM me in my Instagram at jess.anns. Okay, Macy's in my shirt now. Oh, okay, and I already have a rat trying to get into medicine. So let's just start off. So the medicine that I have ranges. The most common rat medicine is Batril, also known as Enrofloxacin. I always call it Enrofloxacin by accident. It is Batril. It is an antibiotic. It does wonders for so many things, especially upper respiratory infections. Um, there is doxycycline and tetracycline, and I find that my girls just do not like them. They don't like what it's blended with. Our Batril is blended with a cherry scent, so they love that flavor. I actually had Opal try to bite me once because we tried to give her doxycycline. If your rat does have an upper respiratory infection, you will see online, one of the most common ways to treat it is around a Batril with doxycycline. Because my girls do not like doxycycline, I tend to just do Batril. The next thing I have in here is Medicam. It is a painkiller used especially after surgery. Um, that one is something that I don't find you need to have on hand because you will get it in case of surgery or any operation where you would need it. Tink did need Medicam when she had, it was like a lump in her jaw that was moving her teeth and that was towards the end of her life. So there are different reasons to use Medicam. This is something we've already used, it's Revolution. Revolution is a prescription medicine that you use to treat rats with mites. This works really well because it lasts 30 days and you don't need to do a thorough clean of everything. One of our girls, Willow, keeps battling mites. Sometimes you will have to use this more than once, um, but this is something we keep on hand as extra because you give just a drop. That being said, our vet is 40 minutes away. We can call and pick this up. <laughs> we have eight rats, so we are very familiar with the vet and the vet is very familiar with us, which is fantastic. Um, is there a reason why you're biting my clothes? <laughs> the next thing I have in here is teramycin. It is an ointment that you put on rats um, if they have a cut, if they get hurt, any small wounds, this helps for that. I'm going to try my best to say this correctly, but the last medicine I have in here is chloramphenicol. This is like Batril, is someone's running away with my stuff. Daisy. I see you. You know that's empty, right? Yeah, so you just ran off with that and that was empty. If I haven't said this yet, keep all of these items out of reach from your rats. The last medicine that I have in here is chloramphenicol. This is an antibiotic like Batril. It's kind of one of your last go-tos. This is what I am currently using for Lucy's upper respiratory infection to prevent it from becoming pneumonia. We got this when Opal had her sudden loss of mobility, and I don't know what caused that. It could have been a pituitary tumor, but I didn't see other symptoms that showed that. However, I think because of her loss of mobility, she got an upper respiratory infection from it. 
and this is something we tried to use to help her recover. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but this is nice to have on hand. The only thing about this is you need to use a glove when administering it. Um, it, it has the potential, I believe, based on what my vet said, to harm you if you are trying to have a baby. With all of these medicines, I have kept from Allison Tink, after washing, syringes. Syringes help give you the actual dose that they need for certain medicines. So I wash these out and I clean them, and then I can give them usually 0.1 mils of something. You guys think this is like a really big goodie box. This is Lulu, the one that we are treating for her upper respiratory infection. Um, her breathing has been pretty rapid, but it's calmed down a bit. And her squeaking isn't as loud. You can tell she's super friendly, super sweet. Okay, here's Daisy, who's getting into all kinds of trouble. And Ebony, who's following her along. Dark chocolate is one of those things that a lot of rat owners keep on hand and say that it is good when you're in a pinch for breathing problems. However, if I'm being very honest, rats don't seem to want anything to do with dark chocolate, especially in a solid form, when they are having trouble breathing, especially if it's to the point where they are lethargic. Um, Lulu, on the other hand, yeah, she'd probably eat this from me. If they are still eating food, if they're still eating medicine, they'd probably take this. Do they need it? I don't really think so, but I still keep it on hand. This is one of my things that I kept as a first time rat owner that was like, yes, I have that, but this was before I had a vet. I have some liquids in here that really don't do a whole lot. Um, Gatorade, it just helps them get some electrolytes, but it's not going to help them keep weight on or anything like that. And some of them don't even seem to want this. And then I have Pediasure, which again, it helps them stay hydrated but this isn't going to help your rat keep on pounds, or I guess grams. Food is super important um, for different reasons. If your rat can no longer eat solid food, or if you need to mix it in with medicine, baby meat food is really good, as well as these baby purees, as long as they have ingredients that are okay for your rats. Um, if you are going to use a baby food or some sort of other food to give medicine, always give your rat the food without medicine in it so they then trust you and trust that it is good food and it is a treat. And then you can mix in a little bit of the medicine. Another piece of advice here is to not give them so much food in the medicine because if they do not finish the food, they may not have gotten their whole dose. If your rat can no longer eat solid food, these are fantastic options. They tend to still really enjoy them. I also have a small blender where I will blend egg with some water and that seems to be another one that they really like. Okay, there's one more thing that we did purchase because um, the vet always uses a stethoscope when listening to our girls if they have any respiratory infection or problem. So we got our own set just so we could listen and keep track. Upper respiratory infections have clicking sounds, um, you can hear fluids, and you can hear their squeaking. If your rat is acting off and you can't quite hear a noise, these can be really useful. I also like to see if she's making any progress towards healing. Um, and I think it kind of just gives me a peace of mind having these. Like right now, I can honestly just hear Lulu without even putting the stethoscope on. Some other things that I don't have here, but I am going to tell you um, we have a carrier at all times so that we can bring the girls to the vet. Usually we bring two to three girls. If you have a rat that is kind of sick but not super sick, I always bring a buddy with them. If I have a girl that is super sick from like a surgery and she really shouldn't have anyone around her, then she goes by herself. Along with that carrier, I always make sure to have like a clean blanket or some sort of bedding and I put some treats in there too. One last thing that I always have, you see the girls are in their free range room. They spend a lot of time in here. We also have the double critter nations, but on top of that, we have our rat manor. That's the cage that Allison Tink used because it is such a good carrier cage for if we have to bring the girls somewhere with us or if they have to be by themselves or in a smaller group. So Elise, when she had her surgery, we moved her to the rat manor and we put Lulu in there when she also had her upper respiratory infection and kept those two together. Um, just to kind of keep watch on them for a day or two. But I try to always put 
two rats in there. I can see that you're probably eating my tripod and you're not supposed to be doing that. Hey, hi, hello. That is just about everything I keep on hand. I have to be honest and say the most useful thing is the medicine and it's medicine that comes directly from the vet. Um, we've been with this vet for at least a year, probably over a year now and he knows that we're really knowledgeable about our rats and we know that he's really knowledgeable about rats too and that is so important. But like I said, if you have any questions, if you have concerns, if you're not sure what to do, if you're not sure what kind of medicine to use, I love pets and I love animals so much I am more than willing to answer questions so leave them down in the comments below. Send me a direct message on my Instagram and I will be sure to get back to you. I hope this is helpful to you guys. It is not an all the emergency things that I have on hand kind of video, but it's a lot of things that we've collected and found useful, if that makes sense. Daisy's sticking her head up outside the box. Hi Daisy! Hey girl! Hey girlfriend! Hi! I just don't know how people don't like rats. They are adorable. With all that being said, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have any questions um, or comments, and make sure to subscribe to catch my next video. Bye guys!